Hi everybody. My name is Mary Hall Scott. For those of you that don't know me, I am an independent artist. I own Permanent Makeup Designs, um, Permanent Makeup Designs Academy and Micro PMU Tattoo Supply. So I tried to do this over the weekend and I had my granddaughter and we had like six takes and didn't make it through. So I'm hoping to, to get through this, but now it's me doing it because as you all know, I'm by myself and, and here at my practice table. Um, what I want to explain is I get asked all the time the question about voltage. What do you set your voltage on for a powder brow? What do you set your voltage on for an ombre lip? What do you set your voltage on uh, to, do, to do lips with a 1RL? And a lot of times, you guys, I, I really struggle to answer some of these questions, and that's why one-on-one -on -one training, I promise you, is always the best solution. Um, but I struggle because there's so many variables. So let me show you what I mean. So this video is a little darker, I think, so that you can see my iPad. So if you have your voltage set on 5.5, right? Okay, we know that tattooing is a series of dots and that's what creates this fine line here, right? It's just a series of dots, one after another, whether you're doing circles, crosshatch, back and forth, pendulum, we're creating a series of dots. So here's the deal with voltage versus hand speed, you guys. If I move my hand quickly at 5.5, this is what I'm gonna get, right? I'm moving it too quickly because a dot is created when the needle goes in and comes out, in and comes out. Well, I've moved my hand too fast. The machine hasn't had time to go in and out. So you're gonna get these, what I call broken spokes, okay? You're gonna get these areas where there's no pigment. So at 5.5, if I slow my hand down just a little bit and I allow that needle to go in and out, then you're gonna get something that looks like this, okay? So you're gonna have your little gaps, but they're gonna be much smaller. And this could be a beautiful powdered brow. Now, if, if I slow it down even more and my hand speed correlates with the 5.5, okay, these two things match, I'm gonna get this solid line, okay? This might be filling in for the bottom of an ombre brow. So, um, we all know that you hear all the time that you, you know, line at say 7.5 and you shade at 5.5. But when you hear that, you have to understand that your hand speed is involved in that. So, you know, I did, I think what every new artist does. Most of you know my story. I spent $40,000 getting my business up and running and I would see a Facebook page and I'd go, oh my God, that's what I need. I need to get that look. So I'm gonna set my voltage at this. I'm gonna order this pen. I'm gonna buy this ink and I'm gonna do everything it says in that Facebook post and then my results will look like that. And then it wouldn't be true. So there's a lot of other variables that aren't posted in those posts to get that look, okay, or to get that outcome. So what I want you to understand is, let's say we go up to 7.5 now, okay? So the voltage now, our needle is going in and out quicker, right? But it's the exact same theory, you guys. We're still tattooing, we're still creating this solid line, and with the voltage at 7.5, if I move my hand too quickly, I'm gonna end up with these gaps. No different than if I had my voltage set at 5.5. If I slow down my hand speed a little bit, I'm gonna get up, you know, same result. I'm gonna have less smaller, I'm gonna have smaller, less spaces in that line. And if I get my hand speed just right, then same thing, I'm gonna have that solid line at 7.5. So I guess what I'm saying, you guys, is I really recommend sitting down at your practice table and playing with your voltage and your hand speed, because depending on the outcome, depending on what you want, you know, you're gonna have to find that match. If you want a powdered brow, then you have to be here. If you want a solid brow, then you have to be here. But you can do that at this speed or at this speed. 
So then you take into consideration what needle am I using? What part am I tattooing? Is the skin thin? Is it compromised? Is it healthy? So all other things come into play. So please don't think you can look at a Facebook post and match what's in it and get the same outcome as that artist got because there's so many variables like skin, products, pen, pressure. I mean, this isn't even considering the amount of pressure that you use when you tattoo and yours might be very different than mine. So, but this is just voltage versus hand speed and I hope that that helps some of you guys. Okay, have a great day.